hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today video we are going to understand how to post recurring document from the fury app so in the recurring process first step you have to maintain the number ranges from the t code fb n1 so let us maintain the number range go to fb n1 give your company code click on intervals and you have to maintain the number range against the x1 node okay give here x1 and give the number range this is the number range so this is the first step then <coughs> you can create your recurring document from the fury app called manage recurring journal entries okay Prior to that, let us understand what is the meaning of recurring entry. So if any journal entry is repeating every month, then you can create that recurring journal entry and you can post every month. Okay, in our example, let's say rent I am paying every month. So I can create rent account debit to bank outgoing account credit as my recurring journal entry. How to create let us see from this Fury app. Take this Fury app, go to Fury app, enter this, manage recurring journal entry. Okay. Click on create new journal entry. Okay. Give the document type, give company code, give currency. During posting time, either you want to use fixed exchange rate or current exchange rate. Give this one. Here, you can post ledger specific also. Recurring journal entry from Fiori, you can post ledger specific. But same is not possible from the GUI side. From the T code, it is not possible. But another advantage GUI has, who is which Fury doesn't have. That is, from the GUI side, you can create the recurring journal entry even for the vendor invoice also or customer invoice also. But from this Fury app, you can only create the recurring journal entry only for GL to GL. You cannot create recurring journal entry for vendor and customer invoice from this Fury app. So that is the limitation. <coughs> Another limitation which, which we have, any document, recurring document created from this Fury app cannot be seen from the GUI T code. Okay. Any recurring document created from the Fury side, from the GUI side cannot be seen in the Fury side. So that is the limitation it has. Okay. Now let us create the recurring journal entry. So this is my GL, this is my rent GL, give 5000 rupees and this is my bank GL, okay, give in the credit 5000 rupees. Double click on this one here, okay, because this is my cost element, so I have to enter the cost center, click here give the cost center okay you can minimize once you hit all this mandatory information then make sure it is green minimize it here then come below here come here below you have to decide either this recurring journal entry you want to post in the beginning of the month or at the end of the month okay so let's say I want to post recurring entry at the last of the month. Okay, so I have to select last day. If I want to post at the first day of the month, I can select this one or any other day if I want to select, I can select this one. Then select here last day. Then here come and give from where you want, from when you want to post. So I want to post from next month that is February. February last, I want to post 29. If I select here first, then I cannot select here last, okay? So this start date and this has the 
connection if i select here first then i have to make sure that i am giving start date first of the month if i select here last then i have to make sure that i am giving last of the month if i select here a specific day i can give any date here okay so i want to post last day of the month therefore i want to give here 29 so from here from here 29 29 of the february okay so from here i want to post from 29 of january i want to post the my recurring journal entry and it should be monthly i want to post every month okay till how many month i want to post let's say february to december i want to post so total 11 month i want to post okay till 11 month i want to post here so see in the date automatically picks here in the date automatically picks here okay now come here down see it automatically shows the scheduling also so on which date see last day of the every month system automatically picks here okay last day of the month system automatically picks here and they are unposted once i post recurring entry it will get posted status okay so this is the process you have to enter the document now let us post it first click on save okay so this is the recurring document number which we have created now with reference to this document number you have to do the posting every month end okay take this one go to here same fevri app go back oh sorry already we are in same fevri app now go to same fevri app okay click here so all your recurring document will appear here all your recurring document will appear this is your recurring document which you have saved see here you you will be posting the recurring document till 11 time and as of now you have posted zero you have not posted any recurring document as of now okay you have just created the recurring document then here it will show the status and it is also showing when next you have to post so it is 29 of february 2024 you are going to post now select this one you can select multiple also at a time and go to here below post okay click on post and on this date you have scheduled the posting in case if you want to change also you can change and you can post okay if you want to change then click on this one and you can enter any specific date here but i want to post on same date so post it here okay so one recurring journal entry has been processed and created okay see the moment you post one got updated it mean that one one time you already posted the recurring document and next you have to post in the march month see it, it got updated next posting that if you go inside you can view also here okay you can view also so see first month sorry the february month got posted and this is the accounting document and it got posted if you want to delete remaining you want to change remaining that is also possible here below you have the edit button okay so this is given in s4 hana from this fury app you can post the recurring entry same thing if you are changing here okay then the change you can see from this fury app and this is what i told major difference which i found between fury and gui is fury will allow you to post the laser specific gui will not allow you to post the fury laser specific but gui has also functionality to do the recurring document for vendor and customer also but this fury app doesn't have that functionality another point whatever recurring document you are creating either from if you are creating from gui you cannot post from the fury if you are creating from fury you cannot post from the gui okay so these are the limitation it has thank you so much for watching the video please subscribe the 
channel if you want to learn advanced thing and if you want to be ahead of all your competitors. Thank you.